Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. I am Exorf and uh, in this episode we're going to be exploring Majula. Uh, basically just uh, checking and seeing if there's anything new here uh, that wasn't here in the original version. And uh, yeah, just picking up everything that was here as well, I suppose. Uh, so I already spoke to the Emerald Herald. Is that her name? So let's check in with you. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. Eh. Uh. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. Yeah, uh, you can let uh, jump into that window. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Suppose not. Bring me that key. Chop chop. Yeah, I will. Hopefully it's in the same place as always. You're pretty important. Um Right, alright. Huh. So as before, there's a very real possibility that I'll miss a couple of items here and there. That's because I'm... Uh, that's because this isn't a new game to me, but... So I, I'm, I'm not feeling like I'll... I probably won't explore every nook and cranny like I did the first time I played this game. And at the same time... Um, I don't have a good enough memory to actually remember every, every place. Uh, that there were uh, that there were items before. Uh, uh. I don't remember if that if I ever understood what that was about. Hmm. How many people have died here? Eighty-eight million people. Or oh, well, I guess eighty-eight deaths. So that's probably like. It's probably still like eight hundred thousand people or something like that. <laughs> nah, probably more like four hundred thousand people. You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Dran Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. That's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. It's a very positive outlook on life. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living sentient or no supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth, that's the real curse right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. Okay, so I might actually just skip through this dialogue because this guy usually has a lot of stuff to say. And uh, I'll just stop skipping if I notice he's saying something new, but I'm s I suspect he won't be saying anything, anything new. Do you ever cry out the journey of an un- You'll face invader if you need help. When you face danger, 
The protection is yours, if you wish. Yeah, sure. What do you have to teach me? Okay. That's good. Uh, I might use that in the at the start of my episode. All right. Thank you. Um, yeah, so there was nothing new there. Um, yeah, so I should probably check those uh, items on the ledges around here before I actually forget about them. And uh, yeah, I'll come back to my, to this place soon. Uh, I'll also check this uh, path leading to the. Oh, I don't remember what that place was called, uh, but um, that annoying place with the the stone, the petrifying lizards. Um, hmm. Let's see here. That should be it, right? Yeah. Does this place still give me... Um, binoculars, was it? Oh. Morningstar. Oh yeah, same stuff here. Um, I really like the Morningstar. Last time I played it, but uh, doesn't seem to suit my my style this time around. Uh, I, hmm. I do seem to recall two-handing mace-like weapons were really effective against some of the um, some armored enemies. So if I run across some uh, some of those weapons that don't require too much, I might try that out. I think it can stun lock um, the um, what are they called? Sentinels, like the three uh, armored, tall, skinny guys. You meet later. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm I'm probably not gonna try to avoid spoilers too much. Um, like I said before, I kind of assume people have already seen people play this game or play this game themselves um, so I I think I prefer to go into the game um, honestly like someone who who has played the original game but hasn't played this one and can make comparisons uh, between this version and the and the old version uh, that seems more interesting to me than just another um, just another let's play <laughs> with with uh, with no new insights or whatever. Not that I think that would be any new insight really, but um, but it might be interesting to see my reactions when I compare stuff or whatever. I don't know. Okay, the cat is still here. Um, so yeah, you should probably stop watching if you don't want boss spoiler spoilers or or whatever. Oh, I'm dead, are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> this is a weird NPC. Suit yourself. Oh yes. You may call me Shaqua. Enchante. So, what did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. What did you have to sell? This is all the same stuff as before, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what this one did, though. Well, I know I've seen it before, I just can't recall how it works. Mm. 
All right, nothing I really need here. Um, so let's talk for a bit. Is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> I have an old habit of always turning away from NPCs while uh, while I talk to them, so I don't accidentally attack them. This place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors, folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, nothing like yourself. with the man by the sea he's lost everything absolutely everything <laughs> the only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants covenants are a type of well contract you might say you give something to gain something that's the way humans like it right it might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? <laughs> I'm not too into the multiplayer aspect of the game. I like the messages and that's just about it. Uh, so probably not going to bother too much with the covenants. It's nice that some rings give bonuses I think, but yeah. Do you see that oddly formed rock behind here? Long ago they called it Victor Stone. Definitely not going to be doing that. If you wish to face greater challenges, speak to the rock. That's the opposite of what I want. Just as well not. <laughs> uh, Alright, looping dialogue now. Uh, nope. Oh, sorry, I'm just... I was gonna skip unless necessary. Or if I already ha heard the dialogue. Uh, yeah, this fucking annoying pigs are now coming for me. God damn it! Stay away! Still as annoying as ever, god damn it. Oh shit, I don't have my Estus flask, flask equipped. Ah, goddammit. These, uh, these pigs are... Uh, yeah, I don't know what to call them. They, uh, they shouldn't be as annoying as they are. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I should probably equip the correct items. Maybe I should use some of the... Some of the souls I've got, so I can uh, so I can level up while I'm at it. Uh, yeah, that should be enough, right? I don't remember. I should probably check before what uh, how many souls I needed to level up, but whatever. Here, let me see. 
Do, do, do. Yes, please. Oh. Alright. Okay, that's uh, that's close enough. Um, so yeah, I'm going to dexterity. Oh shit. Uh, I need to remember the the intricacies of the Dark Souls 2 stats as opposed to the Dark Souls ones. Um, I should probably turn on this thing. So yeah, I definitely want more stamina. Bigger stamina, endurance. Um, not going to bother too much with that, I think. Uh, probably mostly going to do to equip light, light stuff. Right. Attunement. Yeah, like I said, I, I I'd like to have some sort of magic at my disposal but um, but not going to focus too much on it I'll just upgrade this whenever I feel like uh, like I actually need it strength if I if I need it for some for what's it called um, dual wielding some uh, some weapons I'll probably go with this um, actually I probably need that to dual wield the weapons I have right now right um, I, sh I should check that out actually before I start equipping, uh, before I start upgrading. Or does no? It doesn't have to be the same weapon, right? Uh, adaptability. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, dexterity. Yeah, definitely going to have it go with that. Um, oof, yeah. I remember this being really important, mostly because using the Estus flask was a goddamn slow without it. Um, I don't remember. It feel, feels like I had a value that you had to go up to like 15 or something like that uh, to for it to be even bearable. Hmm. I might go pyromancy, just so I don't have need to focus on a bunch of extra stats. Uh, Alright, so I'm just gonna check what I need to to dual wield my weapons. Um, this is... Alright, I, I have some ways to go. Um, because I think I need 50% extra on each, so I'll need um, 24 dexterity and um, 11, I suppose, uh, strength. So, yeah, not even close. If I get another one of these, that would work. But. Uh, I might go with. Um, I might upgrade my strength a bit and up go with uh, shield and sword for a while until I until I have that sorted out. All right, going with strength then for now. Oh, let's see. What else do we have here? I don't suppose I can get into the the big mansion thing uh, until I explore the the giant boss place yeah. the generic castle level that all these uh, souls games have uh, oh. H hello there w welcome to my shop I'm Morlin, and I, well, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. Yeah, 
Yeah, I could could perhaps go with uh, with a shield from you. One of these. Uh... Ah, I need to remember how. What the stats? How the stats work for for equipment in this on these screens as well? Uh, what's the? Oh, that's the physical reduction, right? So I usually tend to go for something with a hundred percent, but because otherwise it feels like I could just learn to dodge better. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm just gonna skip this for now. And uh, I'm happy with what I have equipped on my body. I came from the west, from Volgan. Have you been there? It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. Very competitive, of course. And you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking gold. It's been years since then, and I've, <laughs> I've made very little headway. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still here. Everything's all run down and dying. It was t terrible for business, really. A group calling themselves the Blue Sentinels have gained much power in Volgan. You can't even run a shop without their blessing. They claim to be working for the greater good. Oh, it's absolute hogwash. Oh, by the gods, why the hell am I here? All right. Well, I, well, I do hope I see you again. I probably won't buy too much from you. I had to actually uh, watch some uh, online stuff to even realize that there was some special stuff that happens to him if uh, if you buy buy things from him. Because he, I don't find that he's selling too interesting stuff. I mean, it's fun that you can get like boss armor and stuff like from like that from him, but yeah, it's not that interesting. Um, so that's about it, right? Suppose we should be heading into the forest of giants then. Yeah, we can make it to the first bonfire there and then uh, then take a break for this episode. Well, let's see if everything here is the same. If I'm suddenly attacked by a mob of enemies right inside here or something like that. Quite something ahead. If this was a mimic, then uh, that would be quite cruel. <laughs> Rusted coins. What the hell did I do again? Uh, all right, look, luck. Don't think I ever used them. This weird gate. Mm. Hi. This gate killed me the first time I played the game, I think. <laughs> I do wonder why it's uh why it is the way it is. Completely pointless. Hmm. Right, anything new in here? Hmm. Yeah, I still want to go down there. Get some items. Yeah. 
see if I can do that without falling down. That was uh, unnecessarily close. too fancy whoa okay holy crap that uh, that does not make me happy at all <coughs> okay um, you know what let's just try to kill it give it a go I mean, I can always try to bum rush the. Oh. Uh, the bonfire. Um. Let's, uh. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try doing that. Let me up there, please. Boop. Oh man. Yeah, the dodging and stuff is way more fluid in Bloodborne. <laughs> I never realized it until I got back to this game, but man, they did some stuff with that game. Uh, Alright, so let's rest here. Maybe take care of that goddamn ogre the next time around. <laughs> yeah, let's call this an episode. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I hope to see you next time on Dark Souls 2. Bye bye!